Good. Good boy. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Good. Nope. Good. Good boy. Hi guys, good morning. Good morning, happy Monday. This is Tiffany, 100 plus. And this, of course, is our beautiful boy, Blake. Blake, free. Good. So I figured I would take you guys along this morning on a walk with Blake to show you his progress. Blake went to training with Blake Rodriguez and he was there. Nope. Nope. Good. He was there for seven weeks with Blake. Nope. Let's go. And he has made such amazing since that training. As you can see, walking him has become much easier and enjoyable. Sorry guys, I guess with walking my Wi-Fi kind of went. Um, so here's a peacock on top of the car there. And another one here in the front yard. <laughs> nope. Good boy, Blake. Good boy, Blake. Good boy. All right, we're gonna cross the street. Prior to training, that would have been impossible for him to sit there and stare at a peacock and not do anything. Blake, free. Oops. So he's given windows when he's in a let's go window. He has to be with me by my side, walking. If he deviates from that, he gets a little nope. He knows that he has to come back. Okay, good boy. I'm gonna give him some space here. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's hard to try to control the the lead and my phone so part of his training obviously he's got some obedience that we do during these walks 
you know, I make him stop, I make him sit, I change direction, make sure he's still with me. Um, and then he gets free windows where I say, you know, Blake free, and he can go smell the bushes, go potty, do all those doggy type things. And then when we go back to what we got to do, which is walk, I say, Blake, let's go. And he walks by my side. Nope. See, a little correction and he comes back to my side. Nope. Walk right by the peacock. The other peacock. <laughs> that would have been impossible before training. He would have been going crazy. But with training and continuing training with us, Blake. Blake free. Continuing training, working on things. It's a little hard while I'm talking, doing the video, so I'll give him a little leeway. Um, but we will continue to work with him every single day, give him the outlets he needs. Um, continue with the training, continue with the obedience, continue with the play and with the exercise because his play sessions are part obedience as well and that's where he learns. Ready? Blake ready? Let's go. Good boy. Right by my side. Good. So, as I said in the video at training, we want nothing more than this boy in a home. We did not want him to come back to the rescue house after training. We wanted him to go into his home where his person could work on all of this with him. And unfortunately, nobody has stepped forward yet for Blake so he had to come back to the rescue house nope and go back in his room and all Blake really wants is to be with his person he's such an affectionate dog and a loving dog he wants to please you. Nope. And we really, really want to find his home. He needs somebody single. Nope. Let's go. Good boy. Um, athletic, very athletic. Um, somebody that wants to do things with their dog, spend time with their dog. Someone that's going to run or bike or skateboard or skate or hike and spend time with him. Like, sit. 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 Ready. Good. Got a car coming. Somebody crossing the street. Blake, let's go. Good. Blake gonna sit and he just sat and waited until I said let's go. Oh, doggy in that car was barking at us. Good Blake, good. 
Um, so as I was saying, somebody that's athletic, somebody that wants to work with Blake, wants to do his his play times and his obedience times and and give him the exercise outlet that he requires. Um, or it could be a couple, a couple with no kids, no other pets, but you know, both equal, equally um, athletic and wanting to wanting to have the type of dog that, that goes with you, that you do things with continuously, not just expect him to be a couch potato, because that's not, that's not Blake. He, he will be, he will snuggle on the couch with you. It's my favorite time of day is going in his room and snuggling with him on the couch, but he's got to have the right outlets to get him nice and tired. And then he will snuggle on the couch with you, sleep in bed with you, but he's not a lay around the house 12 hours a day you know, type of dog. So we know there are those types of people out there, those athletic people that want to do everything with their dog, take their dog to the beach, take the dog hiking, take the dog. And Blake would be the perfect dog for that. Side. Good boy, Blake. Good boy. that happy tail. That's a good boy. All right. Hey, bear with me, guys. I gotta grab my keys. Sorry guys, I know it's a little blurry. I'm just trying to get myself situated coming in the house. Put my keys away. Okay. All right, I'm back in the house. Still right by my side. his room. Let me get the gate. And the door. Come on. Alright. Sit. Good boy. Alright guys, give me one second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Woo. Get some water. Good boy. Good. 
so um, we had our first in-house training here at the rescue house on Saturday. And of course we worked on play and took a walk in the neighborhood so he could see some of our obstacles in the neighborhood, what we're up against, um, how to correct, things like that. Yes, that's your stuff. Down. Good. Sorry, now I'm back in the house, so I've got to turn the Wi-Fi on. The horrible service in the rescue house. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but again, he is still continuing training. Zach is coming again on Wednesday and again on next Saturday. And we will continue to do refresher courses and, and training courses as we feel they're needed. Um, but like I said, what we want more than anything is for Blake to go into a home. He needs a home. He needs his person. He needs somebody that he can be with that will get him out, like I said, exercise him, walk him, run him, play with him, work on his obedience, work on his training skills, and, and somebody that he can snuggle with and love on and be with. So, again, single person or a couple who are athletic, willing to put in the work with Blake, with the training and the exercise, um, no children, no other dogs. Blake needs somebody that can give him their undivided attention. And he is the best boy. He really is. He's so sweet and loving, affectionate, willing to please. He wants to work for you. Look at how happy he's getting because I'm just coming over. Look at that tail. Because he loves it when you just come and sit with him. Your tail is not stopping. <laughs> so this is what I like to do with him. Just come and sit. He'll usually, you know, stop chewing, come over, give me a hug, give me kisses. And then he goes back and lays down next to me and continues to chew his bone. Or yesterday he took a nap. He wrapped his paws around my legs and took a nap. And I sat in here and just had a cup of coffee while he was napping. <laughs> he really is just a great, great dog who we just needed to learn how to give him the right outlet and the right tools to make him an even better dog. And that's what the training sessions have done. I do have the uh, donate button on this video because he is still training. We still have a few sessions of training left. Um, and like I said, we will do more if we think we need more. Because um, it basically is not only training Blake, but it's training us, all of us here at Rescue House One um, that deal with Blake so that we know what to do on a daily basis with him to make him succeed. Um, so basically we're getting the training. Um, and then um, Wednesday, I believe, uh, our Loxahatchee crew is coming down um, to work with the trainer and with Blake so that everybody could take care of Blake, babysit Blake, come down here and cover a shift um, so just everybody is on the same page. such a good boy. He's such a good boy. So that is our Blake update. Guys, please, please share this video. Get the word out that Blake needs a home. Again, it's got to be the right home. No children, no other pets, and somebody that is either, a, you know, single or a couple, but that is very active 
and willing to put in the work for Blake. If you think you are that person, please email us 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com. And please, please share this video for Blake. Right, buddy? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Good deal. Good deal. All right, guys. Enjoy your Monday. This is Tiffany and Blake, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.